Hello, everyone, and thanks again for joining me in another installment of IXL and So Can You. Today, I wanted to show you how I recently went about creating a Venn diagram in Excel. Now, most videos on this topic will only show you how to create one using Excel's smart art, which is fine as long as you just want the outline and the category labels for your Venn diagram. But if you're like me and want to be able to actually inject actual examples of each category, then you're in luck because today I'm going to show you how to do just that by creating a Venn diagram as an actual chart. Now what you are looking at here is a dynamic chart, a scatter plot, where I have three circles which more or less have a diameter of 60 units. It's a 100 by 100 with each one of these squares being 10 by 10. So in this case, the red circle are land animals, yellow are air creatures, and blue is the sea. And then you have the overlap. Red and blue make purple, which are land and water creatures. Blue and yellow make green, so you have water and air, so I have mosquitoes. You have red and yellow, which make orange, which are your air and land creatures. And then you have the mix of all four, which is brown. And the only animal I could really think of that is all three categories are duck. And then also not to forget the area outside of my three circles are animals or things that aren't any of these. So I have aliens and dead things. And every time I hit F9, it recalculates and relocates the uh, graphics, but uh, they stay within their region, so you don't find fish on land or whales in the air. So let's go ahead and let me show you how I went creating this chart. Okay, for this, you need three circles. They need to be the same size. Uh, for those who don't know already, to make a circle, you go to shapes, go to oval, might not be in your recently used shapes, and you hold down shift to make it a perfect circle as opposed to an oblong oval, because you need all sides to be equal for this, otherwise the geometry gets uh, more complicated. And then once you have one circle, you want to copy it, control C, control V, control V, and then you want to modify the color, so I want to format shape, Go to fill, make it a strong color to begin with, and then you might notice I have a border around it. That's line color, solid, black on all of them. And I change the thickness of the line by going to width under line style until it actually looks different. Looks like 1.25. And then uh, in order to get this blending effect, what I needed to do is go back to fill and under transparency, I changed it to 40%. Okay, close. And you ha just have to do that for all three of your circles. Okay, so after you have your three circles, now you need your actual chart. So we're going, we're going to start from nothing. So we're going to go to insert scatter plot. I'm going with a blank canvas, I'm going to go to select data. And I'm just going to go straight to add. And the series name, we'll call it Red C for Red Circle. And what you have to put in is the center point of each one of your circles. So I'm just going to use the cat example I actually used. X values is going to be the, the location of the horizontal. So I have 50. And then the Y, I have 69.875. OK. Hit OK. And then I'm just going to keep doing that. Yellow C, X series value. That's 30.1875. And the Y, 29.875. You can use different values. This is just what I use. That seemed to work for me. Blue C equals 69.9375 and 29.875 okay and we'll just stop at that point right now so you got your uh, trinity of center points here 
Now, uh, make sure at this point to make your chart uh, as whatever size you want it to be uh, when you're done with it. One of the flaws with my chart is it's not easy to change the size of your chart and get the same effect after you have moved past this point. So that should be about it. Now that I have these three points, I'm going to change these data points into these larger circles. So it's easy to do. You just select one of your circles, do control C, have the red one on top, control V, take another one, control C, control V, control C, select, control V. All right, so that's pretty much the hardest part is getting your chart to be the right size and your circles to be the right size because it's, it's a kind of unusual process.